Hello there, this is Space Nerf 5, welcome back to episode 32 of our Ottoman World Conquest Let's Play series, where last episode we had to cut it a little short due to us dropping frames, and we're hopefully not going to have so many frame issues. Uh, that up can go away, this one go away, that one go away, that one go away, that one go away. also go away, because we are all permanently, all those things are permanently forever going to be on. Any vassals currently disloyal other than Portugal? No? Perfect. We're almost down to right around that 275% mark for their religious... Or not the religious, their desire for peace. We are currently on our way down to Bologna. We just have like two more occupations. We are currently at war with Venice. We could actually separate peace them if we get to that part of the series, or in terms of our navy. Uh, we're currently just doing a siege in in, Na in Naples. Blah. The Netherlands. Go ahead and get to Berg, who is the coalition leader of the other army. Uh, it still kind of looks like some of the frames are pretty bad. The game is just computing a lot, is what it is. Ah, Great Britain, we still need you in this war for a lot longer. Due to the fact that I have a bunch of land that I still need to take myself. You guys go ahead and get merged. And see what tech. And take admin tech. Uh, we're still going to wait for that to be a little bit cheaper. Just because we're very, we're very close to being at our cap for admin points. And we're going to have stuff we have to core ourselves. Excuse me, I have the hiccups right now. You guys are on your way. Yeah, you are just being super laggy. Hmm. There you go. Milan has fallen. I think it's just because we uh, need some peace in our lives. Can you walk there? No. Let's see, there's a port there, though. That's probably what's denying us our military access that we so desire. That we covet. Hmm. Yep, you're going to go and occupy that. I think that's just the nature of the game. Do we need to slow down the game a little bit? Will that help? Maybe. No, it's still going pretty slow, to be honest. Let's see, you're doing your occupation. Are we? Oh, we're actually fighting the uh, Venetians there. Let's go and pause there. You guys get on in there. There's our truce of the Mamluks, which I don't care if they actually declare on us at this point. They're a small little opium that we don't care about. What is causing all this lag? Hmm. Is it you doing an a automatic siege? No. Got some rebels over there. Yeah, they're French rebels. They'll get taken care of by someone else that we don't have to deal with. Mm, it almost feels like it was that. You put them down. Mm, nah, it doesn't feel like that. You go occupy that. There goes the Venetians taking a pretty big hit in terms of their army. Let's see. Naples, you're being cored and converted as we speak. This core has been slowed due to the actual occupation. Jean decided to join the coalition. That's totally fine. We're not worried about that. <clears throat> Alrighty, this army is dying. Good stuff. And then we're going to try and go take this mountain fort. Prevents it from being taken is what we really want. Full stack wipe. Uh, not quite, but close. We're going to go ahead. Actually, why don't we go... It was the capital of the Dutch. Can we go over to Berg yet? Nope. Alright, let's go over to Munster. And then we should have military access to the next location. You guys go take over that navy, or go fight that navy, and let's go bring this other navy over here. I'm going to send you to go ahead and fight anyone else. Hmm. We need to fight here. 416, we got a 4-5. Do we have a 4-6 or anything better? Hmm, I do have a 4-6 available. From where? Here? Well, you, my friend, go ahead and pick up this other guy. <clears throat> here we go. Ottomans were occupying land back. Beautiful. There goes two heavies. Oh, yeah, that was just courtesy of the rebels. Venice will probably be able to make peace with you here soon. We're going to end up hitting this, uh, this Swiss stack. Looks like they are going to get some re reinforcements. Um, oh, there goes the capital of Aragon. All right, let's go to the next one. Mm, what are these? Navarre and Separatists? I don't particularly care about that. Let's go see if we can fight Liege's army. Uh, Castile is there, although we are not at war with Castile. So, this is Woods. Not exactly great terrain for us to actually fight in. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of reinforcement there. We are capped on admin points. Let's go ahead and use them here. And can we pump up the speed now? Again? Better? Does seem a little bit better. Lost a siege there. Not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. That is a small portion of the coalition that I'm not going to care about. Um... You guys really aren't doing too badly. You do have a negative one. You did just you just rolled poorly is what happened. You guys go back to Constantinople. You guys don't go in. 
you did go and break that siege, which is good. Helps quite a bit. We did lose a little bit of war score, although we are still gaining. We do have the show superiority. Negative 33 reasons, and we're getting closer to Bologna. Uh, let's go ahead and take out Milan's army, as we can. Very easily. Conversions, very helpful. We shall continue to convert. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of that. some of that reformed faith. We don't need it in our lives. And you guys left. Alright, you guys go over here. Milan, your army's there. I don't care. Castile, it looks like you almost have another civil war going on inside your area. Totally fine with that. Not a big deal to me. Uh, what is this? Farm grassland? All right, we'll go ahead and you, you two can kind of move together over here. And we can try and persuade them to leave that said fort. Lasha has fallen. Yeah, that's fine. We're not worried about that. We're going to go ahead and form up this navy. It'll be its peak fighting potential. Loose stab. No, we'll gain some corruption and lose some cash. We have plenty of money on our side, so it's not that big of a deal. Ah, that fort fell. That sucks. Well, we were hoping to defend that fort. Unfortunately, we were not able to do that. Hey, take that. And we'll take that as well. The Swiss are going to be passing away here at a breakneck speed. We lost against Milan, which is unfortunate. Although they're going home to a nice safe location. Yeah, that is a big enough army to actually be scary. If this siege falls, we'll be in a good spot. That fort fell instead. Most unfortunate, Bologna, how are we doing? Still doing okay? Well. Let's go over here, and we just go go in on that small little army. Two little gays, just gonna get deleted. 2,000 artillery. Hey, look, if we're getting rid of artillery... Oh, man, looks decided to join the coalition. Not that big of a deal. There goes the cap... Or, capital of Milan, you already fell. That's insanely quickly. Especially given the fact that we just took... You must have done an artil artillery barrage. I am speaking incredibly quickly. <laughs> we're obviously excited, and there's a lot going on in this game right now. Go. You have been moved, and we'll go ahead and defend Constantinople. You have no need to go to my uh, capital, to be honest. Uh, Bresca has fallen. Uh, do you want peace, Ven Venice, out of curiosity? No, not quite. Well, when the Navy's done, we'll go ahead and send them. Oh. What is blocking you? Mantua is not in the war. Can walk there. Oh, it's Trevi, so then. It has to be Trevi, so. Alright, let's go ahead and bring the navy together, so we can actually go ahead and blockade Venice, and that should be able to make them uh, available for peace. Now the conversion has been completed. You guys are rebuilding. Very slowly at that, but that's okay. Go ahead and convert that province. There goes three ships from the Venetians. There you go, now you want peace. Uh, just give, give us some cash. I guess we're going to debase your capital? No, you're going to give us warps. It's fine with me. Works for me. All right, now let's get over to Bologna. Because we can easily get there, and you are going to go ahead and hunt fleets inside the Mediterranean for what you were meant to be doing. <clears throat> Shift consolidate to go ahead and fight the Milanese. Have manufactories fewer than one rebel-controlled province just for prestige. Don't really need prestige in our lives. Uh, yeah, we can do it that one. We can definitely convert some land without any major issues. All right, Milan, there went your. Or that was that was Mainz, not Milan. You definitely need more of a front line. In all honesty, you go and attach that army, and then we'll send that army because they are supposed to move together now. That's what they are supposed to do. Whether or not that happens is another thing. All right, negative thirty-seven. You still hold your capital, which gives us another five, so that'll be negative sixteen reasons for peace. How much war score can we get for battles? Uh, six. So that'll be beneficial. We just need to prevent them from actually taking any more sieges. Uh, that one's going to fall. Can't do much about that one. We're capped at admin points once more. Go and spend a little bit there. Voting in order, you guys are going to lose your entire stack. That's what I imagine is going to happen there. Nope, you guys actually got to go and walk out. Go fight over there. Admin tech has gotten a little bit cheaper. Still not the cheapest it could be. We'll just go for the base. Base click. Bologna did not fall. Unfortunate. Oh well. We do have one rebel stack, and I think that's the only rebel stack that we actually have. So that could have actually been pretty easy to go ahead and take. We are negative on manpower. Uh, quite a bit, actually. There goes another siege inside of Aragon. 
Aragon's pretty much ready for peace. Um, where are we at in terms of our annexation? We take an additional 40%. Actually getting ready to actually be able to take more. That's uh, pretty much Naples that needs to go ahead and come on back. Let's go take care of that and then go back over there. To fight the English, you have occupations all the way across that bitch. That's fine. Not a big deal. We don't actually suffer attrition in Constantinople there. Mm, we could probably wait for that to get a little bit worse, although uh, split over there is going to be an issue. Let's come on back. Let's say hi to that little 5k stack. Naples has fallen. Unfortunate. Oh, but there goes the capital, Bologna. Hmm. 33%. How do you feel? Negative 12. Hmm. Kind of figure it would be a little bit better than that. Let's go say hi to Siena's army and get Naples back. Or Naples. Napoli. Go split. Unfortunate it is definitely a, the words I would use there. Maybe most unfortunate could also be an option. I don't think I need any Invidious, do I? No, we're at Captain 100. What is me getting four Invidious for? It doesn't do anything. Alright, so that's been occupied. Let's go actually say hi to Milan's army there. Just 4k, that just doesn't need to be there. Guys have left. We go back north, and we can go fight there. Bologna, we are just looking for peace, is it? Military strength is giving you a plus two for the war. I don't agree with that, but you know what? You get to say, and I don't. So there goes 4,000 artillery, just like that. You're getting your repairs, and I have no idea where Sienna's army went. <clears throat> All right, you go take care of those rebels. You're just going to chill. We can actually probably have Navarro break off. That will be fine. And then we're going to take the entirety of Ireland and then take a little bit more from the English. Alright, how are we doing over here? Negative 14 has gotten a little bit worse. Novgorod's working on that siege. That siege is going to fall just as what it is. More cores for us. How are we doing? We can get, take 64%. Aragon, I think that's time for peace with you. really want that mountain fort over here, actually. Do I have any forts over here? No. Unfortunate. Could take Navarra. Because there's a land connection here, which is actually kind of nice. You're going to give me some cash, because I need it. We have to fund this war that we have going on. Alright, you go deal with those rebels. Now, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. You're going to go deal with those ones. And let's go and core everything. Actually, let's go and steal the development first. There. Anything here? Nope. Nope. Alright, everything else. Go ahead and get cored then. 73% now becomes... 67. Saved us, like, 7%. Which I'll take. Every little bit counts. We're up to 8,000 in that stack. We are reinforcing a little bit. Oh, so slowly. Bologna. Transoxiana is definitely ready for peace, but I'm more interested. Negative 12 reasons. Hmm. Capital of Bologna is actually getting reoccupied. Uh, I think we actually need to go over there and threat. Instead of taking Naples back. There goes another siege. That was the capital of Baluchistan that we just lost. Unfortunate. Ah, they take took Bologna back. Most unfortunate. How about this other coalition with Berg? Negative 58. Not very likely. We are still working on just even being able to get the capital of Berg. Hmm. Truce with Russia is up. I would love to go ahead and declare war on them, uh, but we don't exactly have a means to do that. Our vassals are kind of messed up right now. There goes the Siege of Munster. Still can't make it over to Berg. Hmm. What type of fort is this? This is a level 5. What about here? Level 3. Or level 2. We can go over there. Yeah, it's level 2. We can take that. And I don't really want to fight that 50k. That is not worth my time. You guys are just occupying that. Is what it is. Might be able to come all the way over here. You can come up. You can go ahead and detach, go back, and you go to Constantinople, and you will defend that as you uh, as we see best fit. 
Let's see, that is a hill fort. Not interested. You go over there. We have plenty of armies actually in the vicinity. Um, we actually be able to go ahead and do stuff over here now, though. Yep, you retook your capital. That's okay. We're not interested in that. England, you have particulars. Your war exhaustion is probably getting close to being capped at 20, if it hasn't already. Let's see, what are you already at? In terms of war score. Yeah, you already have your 20 war exhaustion. How about you, Bologna? 2.7. Not that much. We have 3.8, just due to our fact that we have not made peace with, uh, with England for quite some time. See, probably don't need a leader over here anymore. We can send that over to the army. Oh, that's currently our king or heir. I'm not sure which. You go ahead and take him. It is our current king. We'll go ahead and fight those guys. It is another fort that we've lost. Unfortunate. Oh, well. There is another fort falling in our favor, though. Our vassals are actually doing a pretty good, decent job of sieging. We're at negative 19 just because we have not taken Bologna. Get back on there. Hey, look, another heavy that we built. I'm going to go take that siege. That just fell, unfortunate. All right, let's go say hi to no guy's army instead. Manpower recovering, albeit slowly. Oh, there's another coalition war. This one is including Russia, unfortunately. That's the entire list, though. Hmm, that'll actually probably be a pretty easy war. Russia is not that scary. All right, Bologna is already well under its way. <clears throat> Fight's over. We're still just trying to get over to Berg. If we can peace out Bologna, that would work. Negative 15, we'll take your capital. That would be enough down to negative 10. I'm going to fight there without any major issues. Go ahead and shift consolidate for peak fighting potential. There went an entire army. Okay. I would love to actually be able to take some of these back. But they probably won't let me like take this fort back. It's probably not an option. Bologna has fallen once more. Hmm. Let's go after Naples. That is a mountain fort I have no interest in taking. We're up to down, or at least down to negative seven. Just pretty decent. Let's go and fight the uh, Milanese there. The vaults, there goes no guy's army. We're up to 40%. Should be able to make peace here soon. Negative five. Novgorod, you're probably going to lose that fight. There's Celia's army. Where is the army of Bologna? Yep, those are our rebel own rebels. We're not going to worry about those. Milan's army is dying. Yeah, it's merge up. You have a heavy, and you will send me a heavy. Heavy is here. Perfect. Beautiful. There really aren't any more hostile navies at this point in the, uh, the Mediterranean. So, that bodes well. Uh, you are still just trying to get over to Berg, but they are definitely trying to hard counter us. You stop going over to Liege, because why? Don't know. Guys, go over there. England, you're still having a very bad day. Sardinian separatists. Yeah, you guys have a lot of separatism, honestly. Not that big of a deal. Negative three reasons with Bologna, and that'll be the big source of issues inside of this coalition at the moment. Muscat, yeah, we'll get all this land back. All of this will also come into play. <clears throat> there we go. Victory. Should be here. Negative zero reasons. Hmm. Well, if that's it. One fort will do. That one maybe. Or Bologna's actually probably getting more war exhaustion just due to occupations, so. Not that worried. One more month, maybe? Taking war goal is still going up, so that helps. There's our truce with Sweden, which is probably going to be another coalition, because Kazan and Denmark probably think they can deal with us. Albeit, I don't agree, but hey, let's go and reduce that. Get it below five, because uh, we're not making peace with England <laughs> for a little while. All right, negative zero reasons. We're still chilling. Let's go ahead and get a conversions going if we can. And we can indeed go ahead and convert some land. I think Ortmund, yeah, that's over by Great Britain. Let's see, negative zero still. Guys are working on their capital, uh, most unfortunate. Should be blockading this, yeah we are. Could do an artillery barrage, but I'd rather go ahead and get the next military tech next. 
Looks like another heavy has been built. Let's go ahead and send that on in. Oh, we're at 41%. That means peace. Get out of here, Bologna. <clears throat> Look at that. Suddenly Kiev is totally fine. <clears throat> Your capital's getting ready to fall. We're actually just going to go ahead and send this army down here to deal with you. Getting you out is going to be amazing. You go ahead and get repurposed, and we'll send you over to Muscova. Uh, certainly we're not at war with anyone really over here. Cologne, we are at war with you, but we can go sit on that very easily. Get your butt over there. Manpower, negative 17,000. It is recovering. Good. Send you over here to go ahead and deal with any rebels we get. Sion, have you been converted? Nope. Let's go ahead and get rid of any Norman rebels that we are going to have. Which is probably likely. Subjects that are disloyal, Kiev, uh, you're good now. You're actually continuing to be annexed now, at this point. Sure, you can have military access. Who are we at war with now? <clears throat> not that much. Berg is not a big contender in this fight. Make peace? Uh, negative 44 reasons. It's actually worse than what I thought it would have been. Sardinia, yeah, you guys are just being a nuisance. You guys go ahead and pick up your heavy that you have built. But that way, you're going... Ah, uh, we'll send you over there. That'll do. Military tech, we're very close to actually getting that. You can go ahead and drill. We're not going to deal with any rebels for a little bit. And I don't think anyone's going to try and fight you over there, to be honest. Naples is back in our... In our grasp. Are we at war with, like, Mantua? Oh, we are at war with Mantua. Mantua, you are, like, fully occupied by rebels. You still are being occupied by rebels. Let's go ahead and land our army over there to go ahead and deal with these rebels. Oh, there goes the Siege of Cologne. This war is going to be super easy and super quick. Guys, all don't have capital, or don't have very good capital forts. Berg, we are the attacker. Good. Who else is here? Everyone else is just standing there making me suffer more attrition. Love you guys, too. Manpower, it has indeed almost recovered, actually. So we're going to be looking good there. You're not going to have an army here soon. Um, so that'll be that coalition uh, pretty much dead, and the only, one, the only one inside of it that's meaningful is the Russia. And then we'll make peace with Great Britain and release a new vassal, even though Kiev has not been annexed yet. Alright, someone else got the Innovanus. We're not interested in it, though. So we are doing just fine. We did go ahead and land on those rebels. Oh, there goes the capital of Berg. Nope, we'll take the uh, mercantilism for ourselves. Yeah, we don't have the ticking war gold, but... I don't think that matters at this point. Sure, we'll go over here. You guys have a small little capital fort that I don't care about. Send that heavy over there. <clears throat> we'll take this entire island off of Portugal. Is there anyone we want to release? Uh, looks like Ulster will probably be a good choice. And then we'll probably have to look at releasing another va or annexing another vassal. Although I definitely need more diplomats in my life. That is definitely something I would like to have. Let's see, your army's gonna get destroyed. Oh, no. But I see your army. It can go away. Being spied on Kiev, you have passed away. Let's go ahead and pick up another royal marriage. Oh, you're not willing. Because you fell below the list. Pay off your debt? Nah. Just play Kate. It's just prestige. I can go ahead and have a royal marriage next month. You have no need to be disloyal. Yeah, probably just because I yeah I have destabilized some of your some of your provinces. Yeah, I did do that. I mean that way. Are you still not gonna? Oh, that's monster, not uh Kiev. Give me a royal marriage. Be a little bit happier with us. We can probably go ahead and take a little bit more of your land. Any development we can steal? Got a little bit here. What is this? Uh, two development. Sure, send one to the capital. That's fine. All right, Baden's army just got. Shattered. Actually, gotta live. Unfortunate. <clears throat> Mantua, Cyprus are all having bad days. Uh, the only one really in here is the uh, the Russia, which I almost just declared on as a side battle. But I want to make peace with Great Britain at some point. <laughs> some point in the future. Alrighty, Berg. How how are you feeling? Negative two reasons. Yeah, not that great. Honestly, if either of those forts fall, this war is probably over. Guys, are fabricating claims on us? We don't care. Great Britain, ah, oh, we're getting so close. 
All in due time, your capital has fallen. You probably are, actually. You want peace yet? Make it a 44. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be happening here soon. Where are these other armies? You're there. You're there. You're doing that siege. You're over there just chilling. Go occupy that. You're chilling in England. You're sieging that down. You are on the island. Alright, you guys come on over here. You're going to be the... Uh, Probably the next person that we attack. You're gonna go deal with those rebels. Oh look, there goes another capital. You should want peace. Yep. I don't really care about your vassals at this point. Build your capital? Nah, it's not worth it. Any land I can take that's noteworthy? No, not really. Walgast kind of has the only one that I'd take land from. Give us some cash and get out of here. I'm not interested in fighting you guys anymore. Mantua, we are still at war with you, but nah. Alright, Kiev, we're coming over to you. Starting Golden Era would actually reduce the integration cost by like 1,200 points. That would almost make it so that way you just get integrated. Although we were going to save that for the Timurids. And once you finish annexing, we're actually going to go ahead and start annexing the Timurids. That should give us a royal marriage. Got another core rolling in? Alright. Let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and fill just a little bit more land. Just go ahead and get rid of those admin points since we have them. <clears throat> right, let's go say hi to your army. Because you don't have an army, the sudden desire to continue to be at fighting us goes down immensely. You can go ahead and drill there. You guys go there. Steal one is our true so. I care about that. 1621 to 5 years. Rance, how about you? 22? Got a while. Alrighty, you probably are already ready to go ahead and make peace, to be honest. Not quite. They have quite a few reasons, but your your army's getting ready to get shattered. Ajam is over here. Maybe we go ahead and annex Ajam to get them out of here. I'm so sick and tired of seeing Ajam. Team Rids, there you go. There goes 7,000 troops. Now you don't have an army. Relative well, strength of the alliance is heavily in our favor. We're making gains. Your military strength is low. Still no peace. Negative 16. Hmm. And we're going to destroy the England. The Mosquito Coast Company. Interesting. Quite the name for a, uh, a company. Right, you go ahead and protect trade in Alexandria. Just because that's something that you can go and do. You guys go ahead and leave England. Because I don't need you to uh, fight the English particulars for them. Admin Diplotech cost increase. That kind of sucks. We were going to take Admin Tech here relatively soon. I say relatively because it's not that quickly. You guys go on back Constantinople because our manpower is finally positive, even though we are at, at war. Albeit. <clears throat> Mantua, Cyprus. Like, even Ajam is not feeling well. Ajam just took that fort. Oh, let's go say hi to that Russian army. You're going to go sit on a dryland fort. Might as well go destroy it. Another conversion, beautiful. What is our current objective? This province, who's already being converted, beautiful. Let's go and con continue to convert this Catholic land that we don't no longer desire. <clears throat> Once Kiev gets annexed, we're gonna have a lot more land that we actually have to go and convert as well. Oh, that's Novgorod, that's not one of uh, Russia's forts. Like I thought it was. So you were fighting the Pope. I think the Pope actually declared war on you is what we're seeing there. Not getting the ticket in war goal, no one is, but you're just reoccupying some of the land, or learn. That is a horrible event. I hate that event. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when is it going to expire? 1627. Ten years? Your annexation is going to be done by then. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh, that hurts so much. 1625. Yeah. Now we just have to pay that extra 10%. That hurts so much, that's like an additional eight years of annexation uh, for Kiev. Ugh, that hurt. You want out yet? Can we make peace? Because this just means that we're going to attack Russia again next time, uh, instead of having to deal with this. Russia left, not interested. Alright, come over here. <clears throat> Seriously dude, you're fully occupied, negative 19 reasons. I call BS. 
<laughs> Manpower is at least recovering. Holy War against... Wait, how do we get Lekka? Oh, they took land from Naples. Because of sea tile. And you ate Genoa. Interesting. That's why we have it. Uh, Yeah, Naples, you look awful now. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. I'm actually okay. If, oh, you guys did take Naples. I'm okay if you guys go deal with uh, the Pope Man. Be kind of funny. <clears throat> Capped on admin points once more. I'll go ahead and just put that over there. Uh, lose some admin points. Prestige. National unrest. For 10 years. But lose tax. Now we'll just lose some admin points for prestige. Great Britain. I'm just sitting here waiting. This should be the end of the war. Can I take one of your provinces? No. Alright. Let's get out. I don't want to be in this war anymore. Great Britain, it is finally time for you to go ahead and get ravaged. Can I take your colonial nations? No. I'd love to. You can keep all your treaties, I don't care. Alrighty, so we do, re do we release a whales? I think we release a big old whales. I do want I do want that fort. <clears throat> There's a Scottish fort there too that I would like to have. That means France can't just walk down. England, you're gonna get chopped up. Must wait a day. There we go. Alrighty, go and steal send all of this development home. There we go. Alrighty. A little bit over our current overextension. We have quite a bit of war exhaustion, which we'll probably have to buy down, to be honest. States, you're going to be well underway. But what we're going to do... We're going to go ahead and release the whales. There you go. You get four provinces. You are going to go ahead and enforce your religion. Does reduce your liberty desire, that helps quite a bit. There you go, Wales, you are still very non enthusiastic about being our vassal. Don't you even have some Sunni land? You do, but your capital wasn't Sunni, which is unfortunate. So we'll go ahead and help you convert. Do we have any land that's still ours? Oh, Labord. Yeah, we can finally convert that. Or uh, core that. That's great. We're not going to go ahead and release a Gascony like I originally had thought. You guys go ahead and drill. You can drill, because we're actually at peace, which is strange. You go deal with that, because you are black flagged. Uh, you guys are going to come on back. i going to come over here to the Commonwealth, because you might be the next target, honestly. Timurids, I was planning on starting your annexation, but things went poorly. You can have royal marriage. Uh, you can have one as well, actually. I think we go ahead and annex you, even though we... Well, we have the, the extra 10% cost right now. Mm, which sucks. When is your annexation going to be done? Just before we, the penalty goes away. We do have innov or the innovators to go and cancel that, but still. Oh, these are separatists. You go to Constantinople, this army needs to... Come on down here, we got some issues down here. Morocco, do you want vassalization? No, you have more than 100 development. Can't vassalize you, because I don't have a mission for that, otherwise I would. Did you ever get converted? No. We were working on it, and we got stopped. What is the current combat width? Because we can go ahead, we have plenty of money, we can go ahead and start forming up our armies. 30k is the current combat width. 27, you can get an additional 3. You additional two. I do want our armies to be running around with a little bit more artillery. There we go. We're almost back. That'll work. 
You are already a combat stack. You come on back so you can actually... Oh, actually, you can drill right there. That'll work. Russia, we're going to have truce for quite some time. Go to Constantinople. You need more artillery. You need more of a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, do we have a truce with you? We do. Looks like you were part of the coalition. You have no allies, so I think you die next. All right, we're getting ready to take Naples back. Good, you're reforming. You're getting your additional troop. You are drilling. You're also getting your troops. Okay. Let's see, we can take military tech. I'm not really interested in that just yet. We will get that soon. Revolts. Oh, is that that's Sunni? I'm down for that. That's totally fine, Novgrad. Uh, what are you? You're Sunni. Yeah, let them do their thing. In fact, Novgrad, you only have 1k troops. Wales. Honestly, I might even just enable Scudage on you. You have one troop. And we'll just feed you land after we go ahead and take it anyways. So, I don't think you're actually needing these fights. Novgrad, same with you. Um, I don't think I need your money right now. Alright, we're going to be on full conversions for a little while. Um, you can't drill there, which is unfortunate. You could actually walk over there, but... Rebels down here, you can go easily take care of those. This army is going to walk over to Constantinople back. We're getting our manpower back very quickly. Almost 4,000 a month. Just lost a general. That's you. You go ahead and drill. You lost a general. Go and pick up a new one. There we go. We do need to begin the invasion of the New World. That is definitely something we need to do. Let's go towards legalism. Keep our manpower recovery rate as high as possible. But man, when is our war with you, or truce with you up next? 1627. It does not look like it is very soon. Castile, you are 21. Aragon, 26. France, 22. Burgundy, we don't have a religious CB on you, so I'm not interested in that very much. Yearly Corruption modifier. That sucks. Well, we got some rebels over there. That's okay. We have this army that can go deal with it. <clears throat> Making 18 ducats a month. Pretty good. We're getting 14 ducats just due to war reps, which is insanely high. Rebels were successful, the Particulist. Uh, they still haven't taken any forts, though. So I'm not exactly worried that much. Continue to convert this, this religious filth. We're actually almost done with our list. Looks like we got a little bit of extra. Wales instantly uh, accepted all of the heretics and heathens. I think they're technically heathens. Can have that admin click. Do we have, still have the Diplo? Yeah, we still have that for another three years, and then we'll go ahead and take tech. That's all we're waiting on. Let's go ahead and take this back. Naples, when is our truce up? So that'll be something that we also do. 1620. That can definitely be coming. Alrighty, so with that back, you, you're going to go ahead, you're going to get additional troops, you're at a peak fighting combat width, you go ahead and drill, you have 30, go and get 30 more artillery though, there we go, and we're going to build up another stack, Portugal you are still very upset with us, it's almost, it's almost down to just, oh, it's like 250 right now, Ah, 275 still. You're still upset. I get it. Let's go ahead and help our little vassal down here. Go ahead and get their conversions. You. You're a thousand, so you'd actually probably take a little while. Let's go ahead and improve relations with you at all. Where's this army I sent down here? Where is it? Is that this one? That I sent all the way down there? And then recalled? You do that. Come on over there. Yep, Bosnian Separatist. Not surprised. You formed up. That's good. Hopefully that'll break off the Pope. That's kind of what we're looking for there. Revolts down there. Eh, it is what it is. <clears throat> Claims have been fabricated. Do we have any ideas that are going to go ahead and get us cheaper Diplo annexation? Is kind of what I'm looking for here. 
We have influence. What do we got? Diplomatic a annexation for admin ideas. Do we already have that? Yeah, we do. We already have the 45. We have a 55% discount on that right now. And it's still going to take a while. Or do we just annex it, begin the annexation of tumors? I think we do that. Come on back from a doll. Well, that wasn't a doll. That was... No, it was a doll. Did you? Because Timurids, those points aren't going to be wasted. Uh, they're going to be uh, take so long that it's not going to be an issue. Who are you allied to? Venice and Gulster. Well, do we actually do a holy war on Venice, separate piece, Aragon, and Naples? Uh, Naples gets full annex, Aragon, we just eat the mainland, maybe? We'll take the five prestige. Ah, colonialism on Africa. Interesting. Well, we'll be taking that in the wars to come. Alright, well, you're on your way down there anyways, so... You do that pathing. Uh, go say hi to that army. You need to go deal with those separatists. <clears throat> and we'll go from there. Aragon, your capital is still here in Valencia. That's fine with me. Castile, you're allied to the Commonwealth, France, and the Pope Man. That's actually a pretty decent alliance in terms of relative strength. Um, it is a little annoying, though, because you're allied to people I wish to actually t like acquire land from. But that is all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.